In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We are all invited and required to serve the Lord. Some of us are serving Him when they have time. Some others are serving Him when we feel that we have something to offer. Or my health, my circumstances are allowing me to serve. And some others feel or ask the question, does this person deserve my service? Does this person need something from me? Can I afford doing it for him or not? That's why today Virgin Mary is teaching us how to serve others in a different mindset. Let us read one verse. In Luke chapter 1, the angel appeared first to Zechariah to give him the good news of, about the birth of St. John the Baptist. Then the angel appeared to Virgin Mary and gave her the glad tidings of the incarnation of the Son of God. The Bible tells us immediately in verse 39, verse 38 says, And the angel departed from here. 39 immediately, Now Mary arose on those days and went into the hill country with haste to a city of Judah. Now the city called Ain Karim. So Virgin Mary was telling us, I'm not thinking who, of who I am. I'm thinking of whom I'm going to serve. She can say, from now on, I will sit at home. From now on, I'm the mother of God. Everyone has to serve me. She didn't say so. And she's asking me and you now, are you able to serve whoever the Lord is going to put in your way? Or are you going to discern and to think who is deserving my ministry? When we read it, we feel the words are too short to express what happened exactly. And in those days, and went into the hill country with haste. We feel that she is passing a road. Those who visit the Holy Land, they can easily See, it's a journey of at least or around a hundred miles. And again, it's really hill country. There is nothing straight. It's a hill country. And it, now, by car, the journey is of nearly two hours. So we don't know exactly how long it took from Virgin Mary. She didn't think, I'm um, in the very first few days of my pregnancy and my honor and my dignity doesn't allow me to do such things. She went with haste to serve. And now Virgin Mary is asking us, are you willing to serve the Lord? Are you willing to serve the Lord through others? Or without putting in your mind who you are and who they are? Fortunately or unfortunately, now you can see some photos in, on Facebook or whatever, a great man, whatever his rank in the church or in the society is serving the poor or serving those who are in need. And we say, wow, he is doing it. Virgin Mary didn't do it for the sake of Facebook or any other things. She was doing it diligently, with haste, passing through the health country. And she's encouraging us now. Are you able to make it to whoever comes to your mind, to whoever pass in front of you? or you are still selective. I'm going to serve those people, not those people. The most important thing, she was doing it with haste as a respond to the glad tidings. As if she received the glad tidings, she is the mother of God, she's going to be the mother of God. And also is another glad tidings that Elizabeth, her relative, is pregnant in the six months. And the Bible tells us that she spent and even the history of the church. She spent the three months with Elizabeth, helping her until she gave birth to St. John the Baptist. Again, it's not about she is serving and she is young and this is an old lady. This is true, for sure. That is the most important thing. The lesson that she did, not saying, I'm now teaching you a lesson to the natural behavior. So she's teaching us as well are you willing to have a new lifestyle in serving others? 
or you need someone to tell you, now the right thing is this, don't do this, do it this way. She was showing us that something naturally came out of the purity in her heart and her mindset, her lifestyle is to serve others. Who you are, she knew he, who she is, but she put everything aside to say, I'm here to serve the Lord. I'm here to serve others. The gift and the grace that has been given to me is enabling me to do more, not to, to stand still and to wait to receive an honor. Serving others is not only a lesson from Virgin Mary to us, it's becoming a new lifestyle, a new mindset to each and every one of us. When St. Paul learned this lesson from the Lord himself, from Virgin Mary, when St. Peter himself refused at the beginning to be, that his feet were to be washed by the Lord, then he recognized it's not the Lord showing us only, the Lord is giving us the power to serve others. And he told them, as I taught you, now it's time to go and to serve others. Let us ask the Lord and ask for the intercession of Virgin Mary to give us or to pray for us to have this new attitude, this new lifestyle. And here, St. Paul said, to serve, not to be served. The Lord himself came to serve, not to be served. How much more we, the servants, we are here to serve the kingdom of God, to serve the, the least in the kingdom. And he was telling us, whatever you are going to do to any of the least of my brethren, you are doing it to me personally. Let us rejoice and ask for the intercession of Virgin Mary to pray for us to have this new lifestyle, to serve others, whoever they are and whatever we are. May the glory of Lord Jesus Christ be with you from now and forever and ever. Amen.